We're back to bring you the latest and most relevant information and news that are already making headlines and causing a buzz in the past few hours. Among the news, we have information involving one of the individuals connected to our Ohio State team. But before I dive into everything, if you're just joining us on our channel, please go ahead and hit the like button on the video so you don't miss any important Ohio State updates. And finally, it was confirmed just a moment ago, catching everyone by surprise. I must admit that this news has shaken me a bit. I don't know how it's going to be for you, Ohio State fans. Now, let's get down to business. The Ohio State football team has agreed to make substantial payments to New Hampshire and Northern Illinois for the home games scheduled for 2027 and 2028, respectively. Let's delve into the details of these financial agreements. For the game scheduled for September 11, 2027, against New Hampshire, a fixed payment of $1 million has been established. It's interesting to note that this game involves the alma mater of coach Ryan Day and is the only game scheduled against an FCS opponent in the future. This amount is $200,000 more than what was paid to Youngstown State, another FCS team, this season. In the case of the game plan for September 16, 2028, against Northern Illinois, the contract stipulates a payment of $1.8 million to be made in five installments. The first four payments will be distributed annually from 2023 to 2026, with the first two totaling $250,000 and the last two totaling $300,000. The remaining $700,000 will be paid 60 days after the game. This agreement is comparable to what OSU did with the Group of Five program, Western Kentucky, for this season's game. It's important to mention that Ryan Day, who hails from New Hampshire and achieved a remarkable career as a quarterback for the Wildcats, setting various records in games and seasons, including completions, 653, touchdown passes, 53, completion percentage, 59.9%, and total yards, 8,492 yards, assumed the position of head coach at OSU in 2018. Furthermore, it's interesting to note that New Hampshire made it to the FCS playoffs last season, marking their first qualification since a continuous period of seasons from 2004 to 2016. Now, let's move on to the question of the day. How do you see the future of our Ohio State with these exciting games ahead? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all the news about our team. Until next time, Buckeye fans, go Buckeyes!